Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fifth Angular 2 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about components. So in this series so far I've already mentioned a couple of times that Angular 2 is component based and what that means is that pretty much everything on your application is seen as a component. Your navbar is a component, your sidebar is a component, your blog is a component, your entire website is a component. And when we build an application, they're built up of these different components and they take on the form of this kind of tree-like structure where components are nested within each other. Now, the top component is called the root component. And when we use the Angular CLI to create a new project a couple of tutorials back, it created the root component for us and that was called the app.component. And that app.component kind of surrounds every other component it is your entire application if you like okay now within that root component we might have a component for the navigation we might also have a component for the blog page and within the blog page component we could have a sidebar component and a component for the actual article itself now each component is made up of these things at the bottom we have the sidebar.component.ts, which is a TypeScript file, and that is for the component logic. So that's the first file that makes up the sidebar component. The second file that makes up the component is the sidebar.component.html, and this is the view or the template, if you like, for that component. That's what the user sees. And the third file is the sidebar.component.css, and there is where we put the styles just for this component. OK, so we've got the component logic, we've got the component template or view and the component CSS. And the idea is that this component logic controls the data and what is put out into this component view. And then the component CSS just styles the view up. Another way of looking at it is like this. So imagine this is your website and the whole website is the root component, which, as I say, is the app.component file, which is created for us when we make a new project. Then within that, we have the navbar component, we have the blog page component, and within the blog page component, we have the article component and the sidebar component as well. So all of these things can be controlled individually by each of these components, three files that we talked about. Okay, so I'm back in the base application that we created with the Angular CLI, and I've gone to the source folder, which is where we keep all of our project files and where we're gonna be working in this tutorial series. And in the app folder is where we keep all of the different components. Now, when we created this base project with the CLI, it went ahead and created our first component for us, the app component, and that is the root component. All projects must have at least this one component, okay? Because that's kind of the root of your application. So you can see for this component, we've got a CSS file, we've got the HTML file, and we've got the TypeScript file. So this is where the logic of the component goes. This is where the view or the template goes. And this is where the styles goes for this view. So let's have a look at this TypeScript file first of all, which is where the logic goes. And first of all, you can see this import statement. And this is importing this component class from the Angular core. And that's because we use this component right here. Okay, so whenever we typically use something in a TypeScript file, we have to import that thing that we're using. And we'll see more examples of this as we go along. Right now, we're just importing the component. So we're using that component right here. And this is what's known as a decorator. It's decorating this class. And we know it's a decorator because of this at symbol at the start. And it kind of tells us a bit more information about this class and how this class works, okay? And in the class itself is where we have all the logic for this component. So just to go up to the decorator first of all, all we're doing is passing through an object with some different options. Now this module ID right here, you don't need to worry about too much. That's just so we can use relative URLs for things like this, okay? So leave that as is. The next one, this selector, is the app root, okay? So that is the name of the tag which this component and this component view is loaded into. So if you remember, this index.html file, which gets loaded up when we start our application, down here we had this tag right here, and it's called app root, okay? 
So right now it's got the text loading. But as soon as that application loads, you can see right here, it's gonna find that this component has this selector app root. And where it finds that in the index.html, it's gonna replace that stuff here, this loading with the component HTML instead, okay? So we define that tag right here. And where it finds that tag, it inserts this component and this component view. So that view gets dumped down here. Okay, makes sense? Cool. So next we have the template URL, and that is a reference to the view or the template that is gonna be output when it finds this tag. And that's right here. So this is the stuff that's being output when it finds this tag. So this is just a relative URL. Like I said, that's because of this thing that we've set up that allows us to do that. Then we have an array for the style URLs, and there's just one item in this array, and it refers to this thing right here. Nothing in it at the minute, but if we wanted to style up this view, then we could do that right here in the CSS file. And if we put H1 and do some rules, that is only going to target this H1 in this same component. It wouldn't target H1s elsewhere, it would just target this one, which is pretty cool. But I like to use a different style sheet as well, so we'll talk about that later. Anyway, so back to this, that is what the decorator is for, this component decorator. So it tells us a little bit more about the component itself. Then we have the class itself, and the name of the class is app component, and that's because we named this component app. Okay, if we name the component navbar, it will be called navbar component. And we're exporting that class, which means it's available outside of this file. So what we're now doing is giving this class some properties right here. And we're giving this class a property of title at the minute. And whatever properties are in this class are available to us in the, uh, the view for that component. So we can output that data right here. And we'll talk about how we do that more later on. But right now, know that in this component, let me just get rid of that. In this component, we can add properties right here and also functions or methods that we can use within this view right here, this template, okay? So if we wanted to, we could change this. We could say app works whoop whoop okay i'm going to save that and then when we save it by the way i've already gone to the terminal here and i've done ng serve and that's serving up um, the website for me so you can see i've gone into the ninja directory first of all which is here that's important then you do ng serve that's going to spin up the server for you and then when you make a set um, a change and save it in here it's going to automatically reload it on the local host server for you. So you can see right now, this is automatically reloaded. I'm at localhost, uh, colon 4200, and it says app works, whoop whoop. So I've changed that, and it's updated it for me in the view right here. Likewise, I could add another property. I could say name, and set that equal to ninja. And I'm gonna save that. You'll notice over here in a minute, it's gonna say loading, probably. Uh, and then I'm also gonna output that down here. I'm gonna say P, and I'm gonna output the name property, and then this is gonna work as well. So if we just give this a second now to refresh over here, or you can just click refresh if you don't like waiting, then it should print out the name down below as well. All right, cool, there we go, Ninja. So that is how components work. We have a different component for each different area on our website, each different section, and each component is made up of this TypeScript file, which controls the logic of the component, passes data to the view, adds functionality through methods to the view, and then the view itself is displayed to the user, can access the data from that TypeScript file, from this component, and this is what is output to the user. We also, specify a tag or a selector in this component in this decorator right here so that when angular finds this tag it can output this component in its place all right so that's kind of your introduction to components we're going to be working a lot with them as we're going along 
So any questions so far, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.